Good morning. You are coming on for Pilates, not Pilates. Nice to see everybody. Let's see here. I'm not seeing anybody yet. Uh, where are we? Oh, there we go. Ha! Hello. Nice to see you guys. Um, so you're here for Matt Pilates, hopefully. And um, oh, what kind of dog do you have, Francesca? I see it. It's a white little doggy. Oh. My God, it's so cute. Oh, it's adorable. So I am muting everybody. Sorry. That's the way it goes. Um, because like I say in class, I want everybody to hear me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not kidding, but I am. So, okie doke. Oh, oh, it's a West Highland Terrier. Thanks. Yeah. Oh my God. So cute. Um, okay. We're going to get going in about two minutes here. Let me just, okay. I don't want that. You'd think I'd know how to use all this already. <laughs> um, if you want your video to show, then click on the lower left side, start video. If you just, if you don't want your video to show, then um, just hit stop video and then we won't see you, but you'll still see me and you'll hear me. So can everybody just give me a thumbs up? Everybody can hear me okay? Okay, perfect. Um, I have my handy dandy mat. Let me just get this together here. Man, time flies. I can't believe we're ready to start already. So. Um, my name is Gillette. I'm actually a chiropractor in Parker, Colorado, in case you're here in from France or Haiti or wherever, who knows, um, Florida. I could name some place in the United States, I guess. Um, so we're doing mat Pilates, no equipment. You don't even need a mat. Uh, you can just do it on your floor, um, just body weight only. Um, if you have any questions, I'm really not going to check chat as we go through the class. Uh, but if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to uh, chat with me after. Uh, you can put in your questions and I'll answer everything to the best I can. So um, I will modify on the second rep. So if there's a modification or not, I will modify. It'll be on the second rep. I'll cue you on that. Um, everybody who's taking this class today, how many do we have in here right now? Um, okay, so everybody's taking this class today. We have are all at different levels. So please make sure you do what you need to do for your body. Um, no one's judging you. <laughs> We're our, probably our hardest own critics, right? So um, anyway, why don't we get started? Drink your water as needed. Just little sips throughout you know, the workout. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I don't have any music licensing issues for going up onto YouTube. So if you want to put your own music on behind, we can't hear it. You can blast it if you want. You don't even have to listen to me, really. So my husband would say that. Um, anyway, why don't we start? We're going to pull, lay on our backs, pulling our knees into our chest. So we get a nice, easy stretch in that lower back. Abs are in tight. Arms out into a T. We're going to pull our knees into a circle, one direction only. As those knees come up to your chest, you are exhaling. We're going to use our breath all the way through class. So we never hold our breath, switch directions. So just circles. We are sucking in those abs. We are pushing the small of your back down to the mat. <clears throat> we are breathing, hold it in the center. And now you're going to rock your knees side to side. Keep your feet and knees together, rocking our knees side to side. We are loosening up the core of our body. We are controlling our legs with our abs. So make sure that your abs are in super duper tight. Breathe. 
And now let's let your knees drop all the way down to the floor, stretching your core body out. This should feel nice. I have major uh, um, farmer's tan going on. On my thighs, I wear my running shorts to here. So I'm, I'm tan for me. So I'm tan from here down and then my arms. <laughs> Just see that. Lift your knees, drop them to the other side. Yep. So I just don't want wrinkly face and I have a bandana mark too. And I even put sunscreen on my face and I still have this white mark that goes along the, my forehead from my bandana. <laughs> Back to the center. Luckily I wear bangs. So we're gonna pull our knees into our chest. Nice, easy stretch. We're gonna go right into Pilates 100. We do it a hundred times. I offer three levels. Level one is the easiest. That's where the knees are on top of the hips, arms out to the side. Head and neck is on the mat. Level two, engage in the neck and the upper back. Level three, extend the legs. Choose where you want to be. Start pumping your arms in rhythm with your breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Eyes are looking forward at the wall, not at the ceiling. If you look at the ceiling, that imaginary tangerine you have between your chin and your chest is going to fall to the floor. If you need to modify halfway through, do it. If you need to put a hand behind your head, pump for five, switch arms and pump for five. If this is just so easy for you, then let your legs go a little close to the floor. But make sure the small of your back is pushed down to the mat. Keep pumping. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, four, five. Breathe. Good job. We might do Pilates 90, Pilates 110. I don't know, I don't count. So I would say I'm sorry for that, but I'm not. I have too much to say. There's no way I can count. I'd have to have somebody sitting in my chair here at my office and count for me. Keep pumping, inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Last time, deep breath in. Exhale completely, pull your knees into your chest. Nice stretch, relax your head. Feet flat on the mat, knees are bent. Free roll up, but we'll modify in the second rep. Inhale, exhale, roll up, fingertips up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale back nice and slow. Low back touches first as you roll back. You can do that, continue. Here's your modification. You're gonna go up to your crunch and hold it. Try to get your shoulder blades off the mat and lower back down. A second modification, getting yourself up to a seated position, but then stopping halfway, bringing yourself back up again and stopping halfway. So whichever one you want to do, totally fine. Breathe. But why would you modify on this exercise? You're going to modify if your feet are lifting off the mat as you roll up, if it hurts your back, or you're rolling up on momentum, instead of allowing your abs to pull you up. And you want to put the brakes on as you go back. We want your muscles to do the work in both directions. That's what I like about Pilates, is that no uh, motion is wasted. We use every motion in this class. So that makes it, uh, we can accomplish double the stuff in the same amount of time. We're not half the time, never half the time. Same amount of time. So we are going to add on. I want you to extend a leg. Leg is parallel to the floor. It is not going up to the ceiling as you roll back. You're going to roll up. Keep that leg parallel to the floor. Sit up tall and roll it on back. Breathe. This leg is not going up. It goes up. It's helping you roll up. I don't want that. So if you're not liking it, just keep doing the regular roll up. Switch legs. Whatever we do on one leg, we have to do it on the other. We don't want it to get jealous, right? We have to do everything equally. Breathe, or as equal as we can since I don't count. I know. That's the breaks. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale and exhale back. We'll do one more time. Breathe. All the way back. Pull your knees into your chest and relax. Arms out into a T, nice stretch. Send your legs out, arms over your head now. Stretching that upper body. Good job. 
We are going to bend our knees. We're going to roll ourselves up to a seated position. So we're going to put our hands uh, behind us. Abs are in tight. I haven't done these in a while. If you've been doing classes with me, we haven't done these in a while. So you're going to bring it up. Abs are in tight. Feet are flexed. When your feet are flexed, it just adds a little extra dimension. So you're going to extend both legs out nice and slow. Bring them back into tabletop. Extend it out. Bring it in. Now, as you do this, I want you to um, suck in your abs super duper tight. Breathe. You are controlling it. I want you to only use your abs to keep yourself balanced while well, you're using your hands. But I really want you to engage those abdominals. Extend it out. Now, hold it on the out. You're going to bring your legs up and just lower halfway. Bring it up. Lower halfway. This should be making you guys sweat. I am sweating. Lower halfway. Keep those abs in tight. That's controlling the legs. Breathe. One more time. Hold it there. Pull your knees in. Soles of your feet come together. Sit up nice and tall. We're not done yet. I mean, I'm just moving diagonally so that you get a better point of view. So, hands, I am sweating. I'm just telling you that now. Hands behind, legs come up. Abs are in tight. Now I want your legs to go out to the side, back to the center, to the other side, center. Keep your upper body still, and you're just moving from the waist down. So we're working more oblique. Breathe. Now, if you want to make this harder, have your legs go more towards the floor. Breathe, suck in those abs, very intention, very controlled. Your abs should be doing the work of keeping your legs going slowly. Breathe. Now, last time, hold it there, legs go up again. Hold it, lower them down, hold it, breathe, bend your knees, hold it there. And bring it on up, soles of your feet come together, sit up tall. I know those hip flexors are going crazy, but that's okay. So we're gonna stay seated. Hands go behind your knees, sitting up tall. And now you're gonna, you're not going to sit up as tall, but you're gonna roll back into your spine, the length of your arms. So you're in a scooped position, just like this. Legs go up. Breathe. We're just balancing. Okay, no hands. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> so we're just balancing here. Can you open up your knees? Close, extend. Bend, open, close, extend. Bend, open, close, extend. One more time. Bend, open, close, raise it on up, sit up tall. This is your little rest. Now, arms come up. You're going to roll back onto your tailbone. Bring yourself back up again. Roll it back onto your tailbone. Bring yourself back up again. Inhale as you roll back. Exhale, sit up tall. Inhale as you roll back. Exhale, sit up tall. Now I want you to use an arm and sweep back. Sit up tall. Switch arms. Sit up tall. The farther you roll back, the harder this is. The less you roll back, the easier it is. You choose what works best for you. Breathe. Your feet should not be lifting off the floor. If they're lifting off the floor, you're rolling back too far. One more time. Hold it at the top. Now roll back so you're in a scooped position. Hands are in, you're twisting from the waist. Shoulders only, but from the waist up. Working more obliques. I know your hamster, your uh, hip flexors are going crazy. Good job, hold it there, roll it on back, extend the legs out, extend your arms. This should feel amazing. Inhale, flex your feet. Exhale, point your toes. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. 
and we are going to roll it right on over to our sides. Supporting your head with your hand, hips are stacked right on top of each other. Pretending like I'm watching Survivor, finale of Survivor on Wednesday. Oh, I can't wait. Hand in front, feet together. You're going to raise it up and down, up. So for people who are going to watch this in July on YouTube, they're going to be like, what? Because I keep talking about current, current events. Survivor is a current event, right? I don't think I've mentioned anything about the coronavirus. That's not current event. We're over that. <laughs> right? We're working the waste. Think about the waste, gluteus medius, pushing the small of that waist down on the mat. Now hold it up, point your toes circle. We are circling from the waist down, from the hips. Abs are in tight. My circle's about the size of a volleyball, maybe. Maybe not even that big. Switch directions. Good job. Everybody looks good. Hold it there. Bottom leg stays where it's at. Top leg comes up. Look at your foot. Your foot should be parallel to the floor, toe facing down, okay? So we're still working that waist. This is not legs. <laughs> ignore leg pain. If you have a leg pain, ignore it. Top leg stays parallel to the floor, pulse the lower leg. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Good job. Hold it, keep your feet flexed. Big kicks. Don't let that lower leg bend if you can help it. Keep that core tight. We're still working that waist. Suck in those abs. Drink your water. There's a lot going on here. Pet your dog. If I, my dogs could not be here, they would be, oh, look, there's Francesca. Dog. Is that your dog, Francesca? Oh, my gosh. I see a white dog. So cute. You have little tiny pictures, and I'm looking at you guys. Little kicks. Can you raise it higher? That was a long time because I was talking. But that's okay. We'll do it all on the same side too. Big kicks again. Because I love them. Breathe. Not my top five, but I do like these. Keep those abs in tight. For those of, you, those of you who are new to my class, my top five means I have top five favorite exercises. I don't do them every time. Little kicks. But I do many of them. Many makes me sound like I have 500. And relax. Good job. Raise it up. Point your toes. Little circles. We're almost done. <clears throat> Extension on this. Got energy coming out of your toes. Switch directions. You're really feeling this in your waist. Oh my gosh. My mother in law made me a gin and tonic. That was a mistake. Hold it there and relax. So here we go. Top five exercise, arm out to the side. We're going up to a V-sit position. Raise it on up and down and up. Breathe. As you raise it up, you're exhaling. We are working more obliques. Don't hold your breath. Use it. Good job, I can see you guys. It's, I sound like a peeper, sorry. I can see you. Breathe. Last time, hold it at the top. You're up. Scissor, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax, hallelujah. Over to the other side, because we do have two sides to work. Supporting your head with your hand, hips are stacked. Hips are stacked right on top of each other. Feet are flexed, hand in front, raise it on up. So work in that waist, other side of the waist. A little bit of gluteus medius. It's on the side two here. Pushing the small of that waist down here. If you think about pushing that, your legs really don't even need to go that high and it takes out any leg pain from here. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. You can test yourself. Raise your hand up. We didn't do that on the other side. I forgot. But test yourself. See where you're at. Make sure you're staying nice and still in your core. Keep those abs in tight. 
Hold it up at the top, point your toes, and we're going to do little circles. Little circles. A small volleyball. A salad plate, Becky. I love that's a, that's a, actually everybody knows what how big a salad plate is. Switch directions. Good job. Think about that waist. Always be mindful of your workout and where you're supposed to be feeling it. Hold it. Flex the foot. Bottom leg stays where it's at. Top leg comes up. Look at your foot. Foot is parallel to the floor, toe facing down. We are still working that waist, sucking those abs. Good job. <clears throat> Top leg stays parallel to the floor. Pulse the lower leg. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Feel it in that waist. Hold it up there. Keep those feet flexed. Hold it. Big kicks. Remember that first set was long because I was talking. So this has to be long too. Lower leg wants to bend as it goes back. Don't let it. Keep that core tight. Breathe. Feet are flexed. Good job. Got to keep going. I don't know. I don't even remember what I talked about from two minutes ago. Breathe. That's terrible. And I had uh, four shots of espresso today, but two were decaf, little kicks, and I didn't even finish it. It's in my refrigerator here. Little kicks, big kicks again. Breathe. Keep those abs in tight. Okay, little kicks. And relax. Raise it up, point your toes, little circles. Sorry, we got to get in this last set of little circles. Point your toes, breathe. Think about that waist. Love it. Switch directions. Good job. Okay, hold it there. Legs go down. Arm out to the side, top five. Here we go. Raise it up into a V-sit position and down. Bringing it on up. And up. Every time you raise it up, you are exhaling. Don't hold your breath. Suck in your abs. Think about those obliques on the side of your body. Breathe. Just a couple more times. One more time, hold it at the top. You're up. Scissor, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Hallelujah. We're going to get on all fours. I'm sorry, I lied. Elbows and knees. We're doing elbows and knees. I'm just checking participants real quick. Okay, good. So we're supposed to give numbers. No secrets. I let everybody behind the curtain, right? Like the Wizard of Oz. So elbows are down. One, let's say I'll do this leg first. One leg is out. Abs are in tight. Lower and raise the leg. Lower and raise. Now, when we're raising the leg, we are not arching the back to make the leg go higher. We are actually sucking in our abs, supporting the back, so we can isolate the glute and the hamstring. But I want you to point that toe and extend. Breathe. Now hold it at the top. Circle. Can you circle? That takes concentration. Keep those abs in tight. Don't let the rest of your body move, just that leg. That's a lot of work. Switch directions. That takes concentration and control. I like it. Breathe. Hold it. So we're going to lower the leg so it's midway of the floor. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Lower and raise the leg up. Up. It's like the ceiling is sitting on the sole of your foot and you're pushing it up. Pushing it away. Up. So you're really working that glute. And that hamstring now, I like it. Up. Now go hold it at the top, pulse it. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Hold it there again, go slow, up, up. My knee's not going all the way down to the floor, just about halfway. Breathe. Hold it up at the top. Pulse it. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch legs. We'll stretch at the end. Lower and raise the leg up. And up. Don't arch that back. I don't care how high the leg goes. You need to think about sucking in those abs so that core stays tight. So you're not arching that back. You're isolating that glute. Up, up. Now, hold it up at the top. Circle, circle. You really gotta concentrate on keeping that body still. Man, sucking those abdominals. Really concentrate, switch directions. Your whole body wants to move. Don't let it. Nice and still. Breathe. Hold it. Lower the leg so it's parallel to the floor. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Lower and raise. Up. We're going slow. Up. The ceiling is sitting on the sole of your foot. You're pushing it up. Pushing the ceiling away. Up. Up, breathe, now hold it up at the top, pulse it, 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower and raise again, up, up, final two sets here on this part, up, up. One more time, hold it up at the top. Pulse, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower, hallelujah! Push it back into child's pose. You can open up those knees, get a little deeper, get your chest between those knees. Stretch it out a little bit more. You can lift up. And go diagonally to one side, diagonal child's pose. This should feel good. Lift it up, go to the other side, stretching out those glutes on both sides. And we're going right onto our backs. We're not done with our abs yet. So pull your knees into your chest, nice easy stretch. Legs go up to the ceiling, engage the neck and the upper back, scissor the legs. We are stretching the hamstrings. We are working the lower and upper abdominals at the same time. Breathe. We do cardio Pilates in my class if I'm not talking, right? So I didn't hear any response. So that's good. That means I don't talk a lot. <laughs> Hold it up at the top, point your toes, relax your head. Little circles one direction, switch and go the other. We are working predominantly lower abdominals here. You are extending the legs. My toes are pointed. I don't think you can see them though. Breathe. Suck in those abs. Hold it there. Bend your knees. Pull your knees into your chest. So, knees are in tabletop. Knees on top of the hips. You're going to bring it up. And what I want you to do is you're going to bring it up, touch your calves, roll it on back. Bring it up, touch your calves, roll it on back. Modification, just bring it up to a crunch and back. Just bring it up to a crunch and back. You can bring it up, hold on, nice and slow back. Bring it up and nice and slow back. One more time. And back, hold it there. Legs up to the ceiling, hands underneath your pelvis. Head and neck is relaxed. Lower your legs to about a 45 degree position. Bring it back to center. Inhale as the legs go away. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale as the legs go away. Exhale, bring it back. 
We are using predominantly lower abdominals. Small of your back is pushed down to the mat. If your low back lifts up, you're dropping your legs too far. Then you're losing your core. Now, hold it up at the top. We're staying in this position now. So now I want you to move your legs diagonally to one side, bring it back up to the center, and then diagonally down on the other side, back up to the center. I'm gonna turn, keep going. I'm just gonna turn this way so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going off to one side, center, off to the other side, center. I'm gonna get rid of my hands, off to one side, suck in those abs. We are working obliques. Breathe. If you want to do this with your knees bent, do that. Totally fine. And off to the other side. Okay, one more time on either side. Lower it down. Bring it up. Lower it down to the other side. Bring it up. Pull your knees into your chest and relax. I'm just moving my body around here. So, bringing it back up again. Now this time you're gonna engage the neck and the upper back, hands behind your head, inhale away, exhale up. Same motion, but just the straight one, not to the sides. And up, breathe, inhale, exhale up. Modification, hands can go back underneath the pelvis. We're just working the upper and lower abdominals at the same time now. Breathe. Last time, hold it at the top. Bend your knees. If your hands are not there, put your hands there. Obliques to one side, center to the other side, center. Exhale as you twist, inhale to the center. Exhale as you twist, inhale to the center. Give yourself a pause so you can stretch out that hip flexor as that leg is extended. So it feels good. This is your stretch. And we're working obliques, getting that shoulder to the bent knee. We can do the elbow all day long. Get deep, twist that body. We're gonna go a little faster. You're gonna skip the center, so you're gonna twist. Twist and pause. Twist and pause. Twist and pause. Breathe. Shh. Last time, hold it there, pull your knees into your chest and relax. And go ahead and extend your arms and legs out over your head. Not your legs over your head, just your arms. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're going on to our tummies. The most exciting part of class. And I need my handy dandy towel here because I am sweating. But that's not unusual. I can sweat watching a movie. <laughs> Arms over your head, legs are out, hip width apart. We're gonna raise all four limbs off the mat so you're extending, touching the walls, not the ceiling. We are not trying to be the letter V or the letter U. I just want you hovering above the floor. Breathe. That's why we hold this for longer because I want you to feel it more. So we're gonna start feeling it in the upper back, upper back, mid back, low back glutes. Flutter your arms and legs. Flutter comes from your shoulders and hips, not your elbows and knees. Try to keep those locked. Stop, hold it. Extension again. So I have elbows on my wrists and Dean Martin on my ankles, pulling me apart. They're stretching me out. Changing my height to, weight, height to weight ratio right now. Relax. Another set up. Extension. <clears throat> Don't hold your breath. Flutter. Flutter, flutter. Breathe. Relax. Last time, raise it up. I don't know if it's the last time or not, but for now, in my head, it's the last time. But we might do it again. Don't hold your breath. Flutter. Flutter, flutter. 
and relax. I want you to take two fingers, move them to the small of your back, hold on to those two fingers. We're gonna stretch the chest, work the low back and glutes. If this hurts your shoulders, skip the arms behind your, behind your back. You're gonna raise it up, raise your chest, raise your arms, raise your legs. If this hurts any part of your body, lower the chest or lower the legs. Relax. Another set up. So we gotta stretch that chest so we can work those important muscles between your shoulder blades. Relax. One more time, up. Breathe. And relax. Arms go over your head. Whole body stays on the mat. Arms come up, pull the elbows down into a W, squeeze in the shoulder blades, stretch it over your head. Elbows in a W, stretch it overhead. Keep doing that pace. So as the elbows are coming down, you are squeezing the shoulder blades together. You are pulling the shoulders away from your ears, elongating the neck. You are breathing. We are working on our posture. Very, very important. One more time, hold it on the down, hold it in the W. Squeeze and hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stretch it over your head and relax. And I am sweating like a bad dog here. So if you are too, you're doing it right. No, I'm just kidding. Elbows out to the side, whole body stays on the mat. Raise the elbows up and down. Up, up. Squeeze those shoulder blades, up. So it's like you have an egg sitting on your spine. You're trying to crack it with your shoulder blades up. Hold it up at the top. Pulse 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Arms over your head and relax. So I want you to bring your feet and your knees together. Feet and knees together. Arms over your head. I want you to just raise the lower body. So you're squeezing those glutes, squeezing your thighs together. You can't raise it up very high. So you're pushing down on your quads on the mat. Push those quads down or push your pelvic bones on the front. Push those down in and you're gonna feel this more in your glutes and in your lower back. If it hurts your low back, don't lift up so high. We're using the entire leg. Hold it, squeeze it, relax. It's like we're a mermaid. Raise it up again. Squeeze those glutes. Doesn't have to go up very high. You can also think about extending. Squeeze those glutes, work in that low back. Relax. Now let your legs go mat width, arms over your head. We're gonna do the, we're gonna go from the waist up this time. Upper body comes up. Just a little ways. Just hold it. Extension. Extend. Touch your fingertips to the wall. My feet are down. I'm just raising the upper body. Now I want your arms to come down to your side, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We're still working the waist up. Arms go up, extend it out. Touch those walls. Arms come down to your side. Hold it. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hold it, hold it. We're gonna hold this a little longer. Squeeze those shoulder blades, pull the shoulder blades down. Stretch it over your head. Pull the elbows, arms down one more time. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Stretch it over your head. Hands go underneath your shoulders. Push it back in a child's pose. Oh my gosh. Now you can feel what you worked, for sure. We're gonna raise it up on all fours, cross your hands in front, head drops between your shoulders, raise it up into angry cat. This should feel nice. And we're gonna go right onto all fours. Abs are in tight, just a little bit more of this specific core work. One leg goes out, 
opposite arm goes out. So right arm, left leg, or left arm, right leg, I don't care. Put a fingertip or a toe tip down if you need to get stability. You want to choose a spot on your mat. I'm going to look at my sweat mark right here. <laughs> so you're going to choose a spot on your mat and get yourself nice and centered, sucking in those abs. Breathe. And now what I want you to do is circle your arm, just your arm, not the one on the mat either. <laughs> Throwing parallel to the floor. Switch directions. Breathe. I stole these from Becky. I like these. Hold it. Now circle the leg. Oh my gosh. Weird. Keep the arm still. Just circle the leg. Switch directions. Hold it. Bring it in. Push it back in a child's pose. Bring it back up again, opposite leg, opposite arm. So we're working the other leg and the other arm now. Extension, touch those walls, not the ceiling. Suck in those abs, choose a spot on your mat, center on that spot. Get yourself nice and still. Suck in those abdominals, circle the arm, circle. Keep everything nice and still. Switch directions, except for that arm that's circling. Breathe. Hold it. Extension. Now circle the leg. Keep those abs in tight. Switch directions. Hold it. Extension. Bring it in. Push it back into child's pose. Good job. Bring it up on all fours. Cross your hands again. Head drops between your shoulder blades. Raise it up into angry cat. And we are going right onto our sides. First set of legs. Upper body to the back of the mat. Legs are diagonally in front. Hand in front for stability. Lower foot is your kickstand. Top leg is going to sweep forward and back. Keeping that core tight. Don't let that upper body move. We're sucking in those abdominals. Breathe. Now, as the leg goes forward, stretch the hamstring as it goes back with the glute. Upper body is still. Breathe. I'm trying to breathe. Okay, one more time forward and back. Bring the foot to the other foot. Flex it, pulse. Pulse, pulse. Good job. We are working the outer thigh here. Long leg series. My advice is that if you feel like your legs are going to fall off, A, you're doing it right. B, if you can't go on, just relax it and wait for the next exercise. Hold it, point the toe, little circles. Extension. Try to touch your toe to that opposite wall. Good job. Switch directions. Hold it there. Toe is down, heel is up, raise it up. Big, big one. Up, up. Don't hold your breath. Last time, hold it there, point the toe, big circles. Keep that core tight. Don't let that upper body move. Breathe. You only do a circle that's comfortable for you. It can be bigger or smaller than somebody else's. Switch directions. Extension. Extension for you and extension for me are different. Breathe. And that's what is nice about our world. Everybody's different. One more time. Hold it there. Okay, my top five. This is from Becky too. I stole all this stuff from her. So top five, leg comes up, toe is down in front. Right, uh, let's do, okay, so hang on. Uh, da, 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 da. Stop, 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 stop. Screw it up, back up. There we go, toe is down, we're doing little ones. Up, 
and down, up, heel down in the back, just little ones, little semicircle, little half circle. Breathe, opening up that hip. Don't hold your breath. Okay, now we're gonna do big ones. Down, up, heel down to the other side, and up. Semi-circle, open up that hip, that's good. And we're working the outer thigh at the same time. This is definitely top five material. <laughs> that, that, that definitely, the producers of Rain Man are gonna come and get me. Breathe. Keep going, you're doing great. I love them so much, I wanna do them the whole leg series. We won't. Last time and back, bring it to the other foot. We're going right in line with our bodies, supporting our head with our hands. So, um, I have to think about what we're doing here. Lower feet are flexed, top leg comes up, point your toe, little circles. Circle my legs parallel with my body, right in line with my body, not going very high. Switch directions, keep those abs in tight. Pull it, flex the foot, bring it forward and back to the other foot. Forward and back. Forward and back. I'm not going back behind me, it's just going to the other foot. Forward and back. And my legs stand pretty much parallel to the floor. Use your hand for stability. Keeps your upper body still, along with sucking in those abs. One more time, we're stretching that hamstring, bring it there, pulse, hold it, point the toe. Now we're gonna go forward, back, little circle. Forward, back, little circle. These might become my top five too, I haven't decided yet. I do like these. Forward, back, little circle. Forward, back, little circle. Just a couple more, not a mom's couple, a workout couple, <laughs> little circle. One more, forward, back, little circle, flex the foot, pulse, 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, holy crap. Ha! Huh. Pop it up on your elbow. That's one part of legs on one side. On your elbow, abs are in tight, leg you just worked goes behind. This leg is extended out, foot parallel to the floor, raise it on up. And up. Keep those abdominals in tight. Breathe. <clears throat> Try not to let your body rock. You want to keep that leg isolated. Hold it up at the top, point the toe and circle. You can never do too many circles. Never. Never, never, never. Switch directions. Breathe. Hold it. Flex the foot. Pulse. 10. No, I'm not counting. Just pulse it. Don't worry. It'll be even. It's good. Hold it down. Sweep it out. Bring it in. Hold it on the out. Point the toe. Circle. See, circles, can never do too many circles. Love them. Breathe. Switch directions. We're all gonna need a couple shots of espresso after this class. Woo. Hold it, bring it in, up to the top, circle. Higher's harder, close to the floor is easier. You do what works best for you. See, circle, never do too many. Switch directions. Circle every part of your body and get a workout. I know I say it all the time. Hold it, lower it, sweep it out, circle. <laughs> and I'm going to make you hate circles. I hate circles. Switch directions. We're almost done with this inner thigh. Almost. Hold it, flex it, pulse. Pulse, pulse. Man, oh man. I know. Hold it, bring it in. We're just gonna do it for twos. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, 
down, two, up, two, down, two, one more time, up, two, down, two, hold it to the top, pulse it. Now I will count, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and lower. Chest on top of that knee, stretch it on out. Okay, we are on the second quarter of our outer thigh. So do not switch sides. Stay on the same side. Draw your knees up 90 degrees in your hips, 90 degrees in your knees. We are doing the second set on this outer thigh. Open and close your leg like a door. Keep that arm forward so that you're not, I never want you to be rocking back. We don't want that. Range of motion is different for everybody. Totally fine. Breathe. Hold it midway and circle the knee. You're circling from the hip, but you're painting the circle with your knee. So Lynn's here today, so she likes these. So we're doing these for Lynn today. Breathe. Keep those abs in tight. Switch directions. Love it. We love it. Hold it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Get that knee to that chin. Get it up there. Pull. Pull. Such a little motion causes so much pain. Pull. 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 That's like true of life of almost everything, don't you think? Little circles. As you do this circle, let's oval it. Get the knee up to the chin and circle. Bring it up to the chin. Yep, sometimes little comments that people make, they hurt you more than like a big broad statement. Switch directions. Or a little bee sting can cause somebody to have anaphylactic shock. It's crazy. Sometimes the littlest things count, positive and negative. That's my philosophy for today. <laughs> Hold it midway, top leg goes out perpendicular from your body, thighs are parallel, toe is down, heel is up, raise it up. First one's the hardest, get through it. Holy crap, breathe, breathe. We're almost done. Ah! Keep it forward, hold it on the down, point the toe and circle. Love them, I know you love them too. I can't hear any groans, so we'll just keep going. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Switch directions. I really appreciate you guys coming to class every Saturday. It's awesome. This is what makes my week. Hold it, flex it, pulse it, pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shift it down. Five big ones. Five. This is it. Four, three, two and one good job pat it out have a seat okay now this is officially halftime now i know how to gauge this for football <laughs> we're officially halftime go get your chips and guacamole get your margarita from your mexican place or chili does good margaritas too okay we got both sides to do so we're going right on over upper body to the back of the mat legs are uh, diagonally in front of you, abs are in tight, hand in front for stability. Top leg is going to sweep forward and back, keeping that core tight. Breathe. Everything we did on the other side, we're doing now. But it's going to zip, zip, zip by because you already know what we're going to do. Breathe. Keep those abs in. Hand in front. We have a really good Mexican place in Elizabeth. Uh, called El Abuelo, it used to be called Guadalajara's. Oh my gosh, they have the best margaritas too. And the staff is so nice. So bring that foot to the other foot, flex it, pulse it. Pulsing is coming from the hip. Uh, Adriana's Mexican food in um, Franktown is good also. Very nice. So Adriana's a very nice person too. Hold it. Point the toe, little circles, extension. Try to touch your toe to that opposite wall. Breathe, it's coming from your hip, not from your ankle. I don't teach an ankle class. <laughs> Switch direction. I'm gonna use that forever now. See, another thing I stole from Becky. So, 
she should really like you know patent all her words and she'd be making a lot of money off of it so hold it there toes down heels up raise it up big lift here don't hold your breath good job love it one more time hold it on the down point the toe big circle you only do a circle that's comfortable for you. It could be bigger or smaller than somebody else's. It's okay. Shh. One more time. Switch directions. Good job. Waking up all of our muscles. One more time. Hold it there. Now my top five. Little ones, toe is down, raise it up, heel to the back. Down and back. You can open up that hip as that heel goes down. Breathe. So we're just doing little half circles to start. Keep that core forward, suck in those abs. Good job. One more time, now we're gonna go bigger. Toe is down, bring it up big and, and lower it down. Good job. Definitely top five. I really like these. <clears throat> I've taken so many other instructors' uh, classes since you know I've been in quarantine for that time. And um, I just uh, we I just didn't I knew we had good instructors. I just didn't realize how good our instructors were. So it's really great. Keep going. We did a long time on the other side because I love them. I know. You're like, well, just because you love them doesn't mean we do. Last time in the front, raise it up, down to the back, raise it up, down to the other leg. Now we're going in line, right in line with our legs, hand in front, flex your feet, raise it up, just pulse it for a second. Now the leg is going to go forward and back. Forward and back. Oh my gosh, I know. We're already tired. We're almost done. Dig in, do this. You did it on the other side. I know you can do it on this side. I'm just bringing the leg back to the other leg. It's not going back behind me. One more time. Hold it midway, point the toe, circle. Circle. Switch directions. Hold it, keep that toe pointed. Forward, back, little circle. Forward, back, little circle. Holy crap, forward, back, little circle. We know exactly where these are working. There is no <laughs> doubt. One more time, forward. Back, little circle, hold it there, flex the foot, pulse it. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness. Pop yourself up onto your elbow. Now we're at the two minute warning, right? Popping yourself onto your elbow, the leg you just worked goes behind, this leg is extended out, but parallel to the floor, raise it on up. We have circles to do. So, yep, more circles. Because we love them. Okay, work in that inner thigh. Foot is parallel to the floor. Raise it to the top. Pulse it. Pulse, pulse, pulse. I'm not counting. No counting. I have too much to say. Hold it. Point the toe. Now you can circle. Think about the up part of the circle. Higher is harder. Close to the floor is easier. You do what works best for you. Up, up. Switch directions. Breathe. You can poke on that inner thigh. Hardest my inner thigh will be all day long. <laughs> Hold it down, sweep it out, bring it back in. Hold it on the out, point the toe, circle. More circles, I know. Switch directions, but we love them. Circle, keep that core tight. Okay, try not to make that upper body move. Hold it, flex it, pulse. 
Bring it in, point the toe, raise it up, circle, circle, breathe, switch directions. Think about the up part of the circle, up, up, hold it, lower it down, sweep it out, circle again out here. We're almost done. Dig in and do it, I promise. Switch directions. Woohoo! Hold it, bring it in, up for twos, flex the foot. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. One more time. Up, two, down, two. Raise it to the top. Pulse it. Ten, nine, eight. This is it. Five. I don't know if we did that. I don't know. Three, two, one. Lower. Bend the knee. Chest on top of that knee. Stretch it out. I'm sure we did the appropriate number. So just think. We're almost done here. Lay right back down. Do not switch sides. Supporting your head with your hand. Draw your knees up. 90 degrees in your hips. 90 degrees in your knees. Open and close that leg like a door. Keep that hand forward. Breathe. Dig in. Do this. I know you can. I know we're tired. It's the end of class. After this, you can go relax. Hold it there. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Get that knee to that chin. Get it up there. Pull. 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 Hold it. Circle. Circle from the hip, painting with the knee. We're painting that circle with the knee. Control it. Good job. Switch directions. Woohoo! It's waking it up. I like it. Hold it. Pull it. Pull it. Get that knee to that chin. Get it up there. Pull. 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 You can see what a little motion I'm doing. Pull it. Now circle and pull. Circle and pull. We're doing an oval circle now. Circle and pull. I love it. You should really be feeling this all along that thigh and hip. Switch directions. I knew I do a lot of legs. I do a lot of legs because this is the stability of our spine. This is strong. The rest of our spine will be even stronger. Hold it. Oh my goodness. Leg goes out perpendicular to your body. Thighs are parallel. Toe is down. Raise it up. First one's the hardest. You got to get through it. Up. Holy crap. Up. Mama Mia. I know. We love it. Breathe. One more time. Hold it on the down. Keep that foot uh, flexed, pulse, 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 pulse. I know, we're almost done, I promise. Hold it, point the toe, and circle. Holy crap. Again, little motion causes so much pain. Switch directions, but we love it. Breathe. Okay, here we go. Flex it. Five pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Shift it down. Five big ones. This is it. Four, three, two, and one. Hallelujah. Time out. Have a seat. Cross that leg over. Sit up nice and tall. Knee that opposite shoulder. We are done. Now you can go off and do your cardio. I'm just kidding. Okay, let's stretch it on out. Get you to enjoy this beautiful day we have going on. Pull your knees in, knees in frog leg, hold on to the ankle. Soles of your feet come together, stretching the inner thighs. You're pushing away with those elbows. This should feel nice. Uh, you can feel a stretch on your, uh, your pelvic bone that's sitting on the mat. Bring those knees together. Cross one leg over. Pull this knee into your chest. 
Now you can feel everything we just did in our legs. Yes, siree. Rotate, rotate those ankles. This is your ankle series now, right here. Uncross, cross the other way, pull this knee in. Circle it out again on your ankles if you want. Man, this feels good in that outer thigh. Breathe. Uncross, knees together, arms out into a T. Knees drop all the way down to the floor. Stretching your core body that you just worked so hard on. Lift your knees up, drop them to the other side. Nice stretch, this should feel good. You're gonna engage those abs, sucking in your gut all day long. Back to the center, roll yourself up to a seated position, cross your legs in front. You're gonna walk your fingertips forward, try to touch your forehead or elbows to the floor. Keeping your glutes on the mat, stretching your inner and outer thighs, upper back, mid back, low back. Walk it back up, uncross, cross the other way. It does make a difference. Walk it back down again. This should feel nice. Feel a nice stretch all the way through your spine. Walk it back up, sit up tall. Take one deep breath up to the ceiling, stretch it up, and exhale. Thank you guys for coming today. Have a great rest of your Saturday. I will be teaching next Saturday again. Same time, same bat channel, same bat everything. Um, check the schedule. I know uh, we are, there could be some classes that are changing here and there. So, you know, don't rely on your memory to do the classes. You know, make sure you're always checking the schedule. But I will be teaching the next two Saturdays for sure virtually. And then we'll see where we're at from there. So, um, uh, anyway, I don't know what's going on with the opening of the rec center, but you guys can always check. Uh, if you get push notifications, oh, look at my makeup. <laughs> anyway, take a walk if you need to today. Man, see, that's how much I was sweating or having a hot flash. People are going to think my husband's abusing me. So it's so nice to see Debbie and Rivka and Heidi. Van, is that your last name? You're, you're Dutch, huh? So Van Neerkirk, Nier, yes? Is that right? Close? <laughs> kind of close. Elizabeth, thank you guys. Rivka, wow, we have a lot of chat going on today. Uh, Francesca's dog was a West Highland Terrier. I like that. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Janet. Galit, thank you. Donna, thank you. I love seeing all you guys. Rivka, thank you. Um, so this is Matt Pilates. If we did it in the pool, would it be Bob Pilates? Yes, it would. We'd be It's <laughs> a terrible joke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lynn, thir our third Gillette class this week. You love the reruns. Thank you, Lynn. Yay. Elizabeth, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like the leg series, Elizabeth. That's excellent. I know, short season. It's true. Thank you so much. That's your first name. That's your last name, Van Kierk, right? Gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you guys. I'm going to sign off. You guys have a great weekend. And hopefully I will see you next, next Saturday. Yay. Oh, happy Mother's Day to everybody, too. I meant, I meant to say it earlier. Okay. Bye, you guys.